Hey there guys, this is the Beamaster, and today I have a question that I would like to discuss. Would Donald Trump still win the election if winning a state doesn't mean he take all of its electoral votes? It's not a winner takes all format. So unless you've been living in a rock, in which I can understand, the bigoted, sexist, and greedy man that is Donald Trump won the election. Some of my audience want to know my opinion about this, but I'll get to that later. For now, we'll talk about how Donald Trump won the election and if he can still have a lead if I use this system I'm going to talk about later. So despite losing the popular vote, Trump won just enough states that gave him enough electors in the win election. As you can see in that picture there, he has a pretty good amount of Republican states, which Clinton would, would need a little bit more than that to win the election. So what are those states that Trump is that Trump won? So the states that he won are swing states, or states that can go to either candidate. It's like a toss-up. If you look, if, if you look at those polls. Trump able to win the election because he was able to win many key key states like Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, all that stuff. So, so before I, so let's before I, I'm about to talk my question now, but you're gonna ask, what are electoral votes and why do we need them? So well, the elect, so let's before we talk about that, we need to talk about the electoral college. The electoral college are a group of electors that vote for the president of the United States. Each state has a different amount of electors, so much. In which the in which they show in, in the election results, depending on the population size. For example, California has 35 electors due to being the largest state in the country, while Wyoming and a few other states have three electors due to being few of the smallest states. The reason we have the electoral electoral college is so that all states have a fair say on who's who's going to be president. It's a represented way. It works like the House of Representatives, where where they're voting for laws, but they're actually voting for who's going to win the election. So you're going to ask, how do we use this electoral college into our election? The answer for that is the winner takes all format. So that means that that if you get the most votes in the election, it's that you receive all of that state's ele electors or the electoral votes. For example, in Idaho, you receive all of its four electors if you get the most votes, even if you win by only 100 points, if it's by a very thin margin. Same is true with all other states. So, since we got that out, got that out, got that out of the way, I'm gonna refer back to my question: Where Donald Trump would win or not? If I use the system, I'm gonna propose here. So let's make a situation where winning the electoral votes doesn't mean you're gonna win. It. You're not. It's not winner takes all format, and the percentage of people voting for you is it depends on how many electoral votes you're gonna get. So, for example, assuming it's a two-party race, race, which it's not, it's 75 percent. But using Idaho again, if 75% of Idahoans voted for you, you receive only three of Idaho's electoral votes. The other candidate gets one of them. So since it's a multi-party race, you only need a smaller percentage to get those three votes. So, so using this scenario, let's go back to this to the question I said earlier. Would Donald Trump still win the election if winning a state doesn't mean you take all of its electoral votes? So in order to do this scenario, I made a spreadsheet in which I worked on for many hours, showing the amount of raw votes that each candidate receives for each state, all the major candidates, Trump, Clinton, but even all those minor ones, Johnson, Stein, and then all those other candidates. And and I also calculated the amount of electoral votes that each candidate has by using that scenario, in which I did some calculations, you don't even know about it. But if you're interested of this about the spreadsheet, I have a link of this in the description. No, the, the vote results may change after recording this video. I know some states are not their votes are not finalized, so they're not the, the candidates are, are not awarded voters yet, like Michigan, New Hampshire. But be sure to check that often until all the votes are reported, where everything is finalized. So here's some findings I found while calculating the amount of total votes using Idaho again. Trump won by a little over 30 points. But he only gains three of those votes, electoral votes, if I use the scenario I said earlier. Clinton would get a piece of that pie, getting, getting one elector. The same. Also, in the battleground state of Ohio, where Trump won by a surprisingly good lead, not winning by 18 vote, all of the 18 votes, Trump would actually getting only half of those votes. Where Trump, Trump would only get nine votes. Clinton would only get a bit behind. Trump with eight, and Johnson would get a piece of that as well, having one vote, the independent. And it's even even worse in Florida, where in which again Trump won the election. Trump won the election there, getting all those 29 votes. But if you use that scenario, Trump and Clinton would actually have the same amount of electoral votes with 14, because with Gary Johnson forcing that tiebreaker, 
with having a single a singular vote. Now, in order to be by being one sided here, let's talk about Virginia. Clinton, one of the few states that Clinton actually won. So, Clinton won by five percent five percentage points in the vote, right? Getting all those thirteen votes. But if we use that scenario, Clint would only have just barely above the majority, seven votes. Trump would get a, a sizable six six electro electors. So so with all those results and all my other state results, would Trump retain the election results, or would Clint become the first woman elected as our president if we use this system? Think about this question for a few seconds. Are you still thinking about it? Are you? Well, here's the result. Out of a possible 538 electoral votes, Hillary Clinton would become our first woman to be ever elected as President of the United States, but only three votes ahead of Trump. Clinton would receive 265 electors, Trump gets 262, Gary Johnson would get a surprising amount of votes, nine, with the other independents, Jill Stein, Evan McMullen would get one vote each, one from California and one from Utah respectively. With that being said, the voters would react to the election a bit, pretty bit differently if the system is implemented. Because, of course, when the 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 candidate where the most polls thought who's gonna, she's gonna win the election, it wouldn't be that surprising. But which, I, if we use so, going back to my point, with that being said, the voters would react to the election a pretty bit different if the system is implemented. Which I hope they do. Huh. I don't think it's fair by winning all those electoral votes in the state if you're up by only one vote. It is not proportionally representative of the amount of votes received by each candidate. So, with that being said, now before I go away, before I sign off with all that stuff, I would like to talk about my opinion regarding the election, which I promised in the beginning of this of this video. Although I may not be old enough to vote, I still have a right to have an opinion on this of this event. Yes, yes, you can see in my tweets. I'm, I'm an anti-Trump supporter. I'm a Clint supporter. I'll be one of those Clint supporters that would protest in those big states. Sorry, I didn't have to hear that. But Trump won the election fair and square with our election system, and we gotta respect that. No matter if you like him or not, or you hate the system, which, of course, I kind of don't like this system because because there have been multiple instances where. Candidates won the popular vote, but they still lost the election. But so, I hope that system that I said earlier gets implemented. And going back to my opinion, I just hope that every one of them here in America sells their political differences, Democrat, Republican, or Independent, or whatnot, and say that all of us are Americans and that we hope for the better for the future. Just like Obama said in his speech, we need to, we're all, we're one, we're one, we're, we're, we're. we're we're Americans first. We're not Democrats and Republicans. No, no, no. He's talking about this inter intramural match. All of us Americans need to unite together, and I hope Donald Trump would make this fall. So would heal our differences, would heal our wounds for that. In fact, I would, I want him to prove me wrong on what he's going to do as our president. Okay, I know he's going to try to build a wall that Mexico's going to pay for and all this stuff, but. I hope Donald Trump changes that, and I hope he would try to redeem himself, trying to surprise us. So, this is the VM Master, signing off.